You know what I'm really sick of? I'm sick of hearing rich white kids complain about rich white people. Like, if you have the convenience and luxury in life to take several days off of work and meet up with your college friends to go scream at a building through a megaphone that you bought just for the occasion. <laughs> you don't have any place talking shit on rich people. Like, I I'm seeing like pictures from the protest. Fuck these rich white assholes tweeted from Becca's iPhone. <laughs> Come the fuck off of it. Like, you're so full of shit, and it's obvious to everyone except you. Look at how quickly they forgot about banning guns as soon as Kanye West said some shit that Kanye West would say. Like, it's... It's ridiculous. It's all about self-love. Like, all these... Like, you don't care about the cause. You don't care about the purpose. You don't care about the protest. You care about looking like a good person for protesting. That's what it all boils down to. And even the politicians do that. Like, Obama did great things for the black community. And that's true. Not as many as you'd expect the black first black president to do. Nonetheless, he did do great things for the black community. But on the other hand, he's black. If he did amazing things for the Mexican community, or the Asian community, that would be awesome. But instead, he just deported a bunch of them. <laughs> oh yeah, we're not supposed to talk about that. We <laughs> got all these problems in the world. There are thousands of Mexican people dying every day, being killed by cartels that we funded using weapons that we gave them in a drug war that we started to fill our own prisons, okay? There are Chinese children as young as 10 years old making your clothing, your electronics, starving to death in squalor. But we don't need to take care of that. That's not the first thing on the platter. Number one at the top of the list, we need to make sure people aren't thinking racist and sexist thoughts quietly to themselves. Because that just won't do. <laughs> Have some priorities. Like, yeah, racist people are shitty, but like, Figure out what's important. Like that's you talk about a, you talk about male privilege or white privilege. Let's talk about American privilege. Let's talk about 21st century privilege. Let's talk about most people in the world walk miles for water that's clean enough for them to boil to drink. You have a bowl of that shit in a room in your house and you shit in it every day. That's American privilege. You know what 21st century privilege is? Your grandma had to put on a coat and go outside to shit. Fuck! God damn! You grew up with Nintendos and cell phones and the internet. People in Africa are getting their arms chopped off. People in Russia wake up every morning thinking, I hope my dad that doesn't get killed today, but it's abhorrent that somebody else makes more money than me. <sighs> we gotta fix this just for me. And that's the thing, like, <laughs> we gotta fix this. Nobody wants to fix this. You get like, oh, I can't close YouTube on my cell phone and the music keeps playing. Somebody should fix this. <laughs> Not I should fix this. I'm jealous of technology that doesn't exist yet. But somebody else I don't know should figure out a way that it works for me. Because I'm an American and I get my goddamn way. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. We're the first, we're the first American generation in history that is so spoiled with individual privilege and freedom that we are protesting to make more laws. Yeah. We want to limit ourselves. I shouldn't be allowed to do that. Have you ever, like, your parents, fuck you, dad. Your hippie generation doesn't know shit. 
even though you held hands and marched over the bridge from Selma into Birmingham with those black people to earn their right to vote, your, your struggle is nothing compared to me wearing a pussy hat on Times Square. If you want to complain, if you feel like your life is really bad, I have a really awesome, simple formula to figure out if your complaints are valid. Ask yourself one question. Do I need to go to the hospital? Okay? If you need to go to the hospital, then shut the fuck up and go to the hospital. And if you don't need to go to the hospital, then just shut the fuck up. Nobody cares. I got a job. I got bills. I got a girlfriend. I got fucking fines. I don't care about your problems and neither does anybody else. They're just smiling until you stop talking to be polite. Shut up. <laughs> Anthony Bourdain killed himself. And I think that was the first time in American history that we turned on our TVs, saw his face, and thought to ourselves, God damn it, I wish it was Guy Fieri. <laughs> but he did it because he wanted to do it. And that's the thing, like, I think it's selfish to tell people not to kill themselves. You say it's selfish to kill yourself? You know what I counter that with? My mom killed herself when I was 15. And you know what? I think that's the best decision she made in her entire life. She was a fuck up, alcoholic, schizophrenic hippie who had kids on accident. The day that she ate too many pills was the day that she achieved stardom in her own right. Fucking let's have a round of applause for that old lunatic. But. <laughs> You don't want them, like, what, what do you tell somebody when you don't want them to kill themselves? It'll get better, but it won't. How many people do you know whose lives have ever gotten better? Really, think about it, like, nobody's life ever gets better. It gets worse and you get used to it. That's the way that fucking life goes. Like, it, it'll get better. And you're not telling them not to kill themselves because you don't want them to die. You're telling them not to kill themselves because you don't want to be sad that they're dead, you selfish piece of shit. Like, the old proverb goes, if you love them, let them go. Yeah, sure. I wish, I wish you could commit suicide for like six months. <laughs> Cause there are a lot of times that I'm just not feeling it, you know? <laughs> like, I don't want to go do all this stuff all the time. It, like, I wish, I wish there was a setting on the gun that's just like, I'm gonna shoot myself in the mouth until January. <laughs> but we don't have that technology yet, so I guess I'll stick it out. Thank you guys, you've been an awesome audience. Awesome. Awesome. Everyone, that shit was serious as fuck. <laughs> I don't even have shit like that.